Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Chris Proctor uh, emailed me tonight. Chris at Perillo.com is how you can email me. He says, I have a question for you and everybody out there. I'm trying to salvage music off of old damaged CDs. Some of these songs have already been ripped to my computer's MP3s, but they're full of static and fuzz and other scratchiness. Others I haven't even tried to rip yet. Do you, or anyone else, have any ideas about some sort of software I could use to fix and clean up these songs so they sound new again? Is it even possible? Boy, I hope so, because I'm afraid I won't be able to find most of these songs again if the files I have are indeed beyond repair. And I did a, a quick search on the web, uh, considering I really haven't gone back and tried to convert any uh, old LPs of mine or any old uh, recordings from cassette tapes. Uh, and what you're talking about removing specifically, I mean, you used words like, uh, let's see, your static, fuzz, scratchiness. I believe um, the terms that tend to get bantied about are pops and hisses. Uh, hiss, of course, kind of synonymous with cassette tapes, and pops, uh, of course, with LPs. Now. Typically, uh, pop and hiss removal software is an arm and a leg. I mean, it can be very expensive. Uh, their SoundForge, uh, one of the leading audio editors out there, arguably uh, overkill for a lot of people, I believe now comes bundled with a pop and hiss remover. But there are titles that are available for far less than what SoundForge is worth on the street, which is hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Uh, now, before I uh, dive into my solution, uh, let me toss it out to uh, Wireless Packet and SC Thor. I don't know if you have any uh, suggestions specifically or if you've run into similar issues and have, have found ways around removing uh, pops and hisses or cleaning up uh, old or converted recordings. Um, I personally don't have any. I mean, I, my brother's an audio guy, audio video guy, so he usually does everything in a studio. Like when he wants to, you know, use uh, old LPs and convert them into... Uh, you know, like maybe an MP3 or something, but I mean, he does it in the studio, so must be you know, nice. Thousands of dollars with equipment. See, told you, you it's know, expensive. So I really don't know. Yeah, um, I um, a lot of times it's quite hard to remove stuff like pops and hisses because it's right in there with the sound, and yeah. that's why when they record stuff in a studio, they put everything on a separate track so they can try to keep things separate so that they can edit certain things out but I mean I know I know from, from personal experience with like having a technique turntable I mean cleaning the disc there's solutions you could use to clean to clean the LP um, there's also uh, you know using a high quality needle would also help mm, yeah you know, don't don't go with the old cheap oh, using a high like like hundred dollar needle by a would help out a lot too. Yeah, a better yeah, better hardware support. Yep. I mean like in terms yeah. of like you know, getting it from point A to point B. Of course for the MP threes it may be a, a different trick altogether. Um, the one uh, I guess software that I found uh, after doing a little bit of, of research was actually discovered on one of my websites, lockernome.com. We blogged about it oh about a year and a half ago. It's a program called Spin It Again. Spin it again. And it's available for right around $30. There is a free trial available, and I'll be sure to link to everything that's relevant to uh, the, this particular title. Uh, so you can download the demo, see if it works. If it works, great. You can purchase it and then use it on all the audio that you need to use it on. Uh, but instead of spending you know, much more than that, you might as well get something that has been proven to work real well. Uh, they've, In fact, if, if I'm not mistaken, they also have... Uh, samples on their website to show you uh, audio before and after it's been cleaned uh, but getting a, a program that's specifically dedicated to removing pops and hisses is going to be your best bet um, I think Microsoft also had the the digital media plus pack and I believe one of the utilities was a uh, I don't know what they call it like a, a cassette or it's been forever since I've used it but it was uh, it was a utility specifically designed to import uh, low quality audio, or not lower quality, but audio with artifacts and cleaning up those artifacts. And I thought it did a pretty good job. And that, that Digital Media Plus pack, at least for Windows XP, was I think right around 10 to 20 bucks. It was like nothing. Um, but I, I would try. Uh, you can try that one. That's that the, the Digital Media Plus pack, which I thought was well worth the money at twenty dollars. Uh, or specifically, spin it again. Uh, those are the two utilities that that I would recommend. Or you know, get a brother who's got uh, thousands of dollars worth of recording equipment. That that would be your solution right there. 
Does that, does that sound good, wireless packet? Also, um, I mean, maybe check out at your local uh, your local record shop. Uh, mm, talk, yeah. Talk to, like, uh, I know that's a couple, like, there's a couple places here. They have DJs, like, literally mixing music in the background. And you may want to go in there and talk to them and see what kind of equipment they're using. Um, because a lot of the DJs still use LPs. And a lot of them, I know a few that actually stopped using LPs altogether mm. and, and went straight to digital. But there are still a lot of them that use LPs. See what kind of needles they're using. Um, because, you know, they use the, they spin these records thousands of times and they always have to play. That's a know, good well suggestion. And can't skip. So see, see how they're preserving their LPs and their vinyl also. It yeah. looks... The, oh, that's another good one. Uh, Uncle John's saying, what about Windows Analog Recorder and WavePad? Beggars can't be choosers. Uh, looks pretty good. WavePad I haven't tested yet. Well, see, here's the thing. Um, you, in, in many cases, at least with audio and sometimes video, you kind of get what you pay for. Uh, and if you really want to do a good job with the least amount of frustration and hassle, I'd recommend spending at least a little money on something. Um, like I said, I think the, the spin it again is, is the best that I'd found in, in my research. And if, certainly if, if Locker Gnome had blogged about it, if we had blogged about it at some point in the past, it was definitely worth looking at. Um, and I think, I don't know, I may be able to work out a discount on it as well. I'll have to check with the, the author of the program. So I may be able to send you a bit more money. So if you go to the website and buy it through the official website, you can do that. Or I'll, I'll see if I can work out some kind of coupon arrangement with these people. Uh, anyway. Uh, those are our suggestions, and certainly if you have any other suggestions for cleaning out pops and hisses uh, from old recordings, uh, if you have an open source solution, I'm all ears. Uh, a free solution that works just as well as some of these paid solutions, again, we're open for any kind of recommendations. My email is chris at perillo.com, as I said at the beginning of the video. Free to email me any suggestions or you know any other questions you might have related to media stuff. I may not know the answers, but I do have friends and friends with brothers who have friends of brothers who have even more friends who don't know who I am and wouldn't know who I uh, am at all. But you do. But, uh, well, yes? A user in the chat room recommended that if uh, you already have Nero, that Nero includes uh, a sound editing program for when you're making CDs out of your MP3s and stuff to try to clean them up a bit. That's not bad. I don't know how well it will work with MP3s directly. but if it's I, I don't know how well it will work either, but uh, if you, mo a lot of computers uh, bundle OEM uh, Nero because... It's pretty much the best burning software. So it, yeah, it's a lot of people might already have the software on their computer, and it's commercial software that might be able to help. Good call. And for open source, there's there's something like Audacity, but I don't know that it mm. has a a plugin for pop and hiss removal. As well, I don't know let, that let me it, put it this way: I'm not sure if it does or not. But just because a program has a plugin doesn't mean that it. Does, it's that great. Right. You know, it's like, eh, okay. Uh, so if anybody has an experience with doing this, and certainly if you'd want to share your recommendations, I think that would be very, very valid, very germane in this uh, respect. Uh, anyway, uh, you're welcome to join us anytime, day or night, at our chat room. We're, we're typically talking about these kinds of things, or we'll go off on a tangent and talk about these things anyway. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, we just want you to stop by and say hello on a semi-regular basis, become a, a regular name in the chat room so that we you know, feel like we've made some kind of connection, like we're digital soulmates or something. I, I don't know what I'm saying. I, I just, I, I'm kind of crazy. I'm feeling poppy and hissy this late at night. Can you tell? Really? Anyway, that was a really bad joke, and you shouldn't have laughed. You should not encourage me. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> stop by the chat room anytime, day or night, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.